say hello to my little friend. <laughs> this dude is so aggressive. Most of these water turkeys are so afraid of you, they don't want nothing to do with you. Look at him. He thinks we have something for him. We've been feeding him. Look at those little beady eyes. How can you catch a fish with those little beady eyes? Head, croaker, speckled trout, and some yellow mouths. Not the biggest sheep's head in the world, but they'll make the grease stink. Oh, hey, the water turkey ate my fish. Look at him. The water turkey's eating my fish. Oh, okay, hold on there, water turkey. I was just talking about these little blennies. These little absolute pieces of shit fish. I'm going to give it to you. These right here. That's not a sea bass? No. I call them blennies. Oh, okay. They are such little pieces of crap that this guy needs to go out to the jetties and eat them all. Here you go. There you go. There's a big old meal for you, water turkey. All right, Bob's gonna dump out our catch of the day. It was the potpourri of fish. We've got croakers, mangrove snappers, Sheep's head, black drum, whiting, sand trout, and this big old croaky here, and a black drum. So, we got some vittles, and we're going to clean them with the Flazol inshore blade. The inshore blade. Till tomorrow, we're going to do it again. Right, Bob? That's right. Thanks to Keith for helping us out with these. <laughs> Bring me along. The Makita and the pile of fish. And Keith over there doing the fine tuning. <laughs> Alright, I'm hiding behind the console to stay out of the wind. It's probably blowing a good 20 knots or more. Me and Traveler Bob, who's taking pictures back there, we caught some fish, some small yellowmouth trout up in the river. Now we're at the jetties and I can't even point the camera out or it'll be nothing but solid wind noise. So um, you may get a lot of wind, so put your earplugs in. It looks like, uh, what did, what did what'd you call it, Bob? A geyser? Yeah, Old Faithful. Old Faithful coming over the rocks here at the jetties. I'm going to show it to you. So, I won't be talking during it, though, because the wind is pretty extreme. Me and, it's not like me and Bob ain't dealt with it before. Right, Bob? Yeah. So, <laughs> like we ain't dealt with it before. <laughs> All right. So hang on. I'm going to go over there. And it, you will not get a good picture of it in the GoPro. But I'd say it looks like about eight footers on the other side of the jetty rocks. At least eight footers. So here we go.
I don't think it would be fun if you were on a jet ski, even on the other side of these rocks. It's not, you're not going to be able to see it the way we're seeing it, folks. I mean, they're like, you know, eight foot tall with a quarter second apart. <laughs> and we're, this is Florida snow. Look at all the snow. That's called Florida snow. All right, well, looks like the, the depth finder is completely freaked out. There would be the bottom, and all this is all the foam agitated water we're going through. We're only in 20 foot. All right, let's see if we can catch a fish out here one way or another. It's, it's the Traveler Bob Challenge. Or we could go to the south side of the south. Yeah, we'd have to go outside to get there. Yeah, I know. It might not be that bad. We'll go look. <laughs> All right, what we're doing here is we, since we came all the way out here, we decided to fish it. Um, we're doing the big, the big rods out the back with mullet chunks. Here's my mullet. It was a big old mullet, and I chunking them up, and I tossed them out there, trying to get near the channel edge. We're in uh, 27, 28 foot of water right now. And uh, since we ran out here, we figured why not give it a shot? You never know, one of these rods could double over with a big old bow red Brutus T-Red Bass. Bob will have to be dancing around the deck, but then I got rid of my cooler back here and look at all that ballroom dancing that you can't find in any other boat. Ballroom dancing. <laughs> and Bob already caught another sand trout out here. Bob can catch a big old bull red. Come on. We're leaving the rocks. Bob caught what, three? three sand trout. We never had any bites on the mullet chunks. So we're going to go float rig fish the rising tide in the river. Bye. <laughs> This is the difference between the jetties and up in the river today. Sun, slick. Look at this. I can actually walk around the boat with Bob falling over. Bob is happy. <laughs> We're sitting up here foot rig fishing now. And see if we can't catch some speckled bass. Who's back? This is the friendliest cormorant in the entire world. It's got us figured out. It knows to come on over and it might get a free meal. I have never seen a cormorant act like this damn bird does. I mean, it'll fly up in the boat if you give him a chance. I think he might have been raised by humans or something. It just sits there waiting for a freebie. Remember when I said it was nice and sunny? It is super, super overcast and nasty and freezing cold and windy as holy hell again. But who let them dogs out? <laughs> yeah, baby. We're picking up a few, finally. There we go. Our bird friend is eating our trout. Hey, bird friend. You're not our friend no more. I don't think that's... Is that a keeper? I don't think so. Scarred quite a bit. I don't know. Let's see. Go ahead and measure 
him up. I don't think he's going to be. No, he's 13. 13 inches. Go! Hurry up. All right, first spot. Third day with Traveler Bob. He's behind me, or he's in front of me here fishing. We're float rig fishing. And there's no wind. It's supposed to be a southeast breeze eventually. And it was raining. And what do we do? The first spot we choose to go to is one that when it's wet and there's no wind, the gnats, the little no see bugs, are just like clouds in the air. So you got to sit here getting chewed up. But we're going to put up with it to see if there's some monster speckly bastards or redfish at this spot. It's, it's already. No sooner did we get here and they come out of the woodwork. Wait till they smell fish slime on the deck. That's when they really, really come out. Oh. Okay, I'll get back with you. Day three. The Traveler Bob. Come on. All right, I'm on. spot the the actual current died it wasn't the bugs and now we're over in another spot and now the currents die in here but we'll take that all day long we no sooner pulled up here and Bob got absolutely swanked by a big fish so all right, maybe we found something. There we go. I said, uh, who let them big yellow mouth out? <clears throat> All right, there you go, Gary. There's our average uh, weak fish. That's a good one for us. We don't get those, you know, giants like you get. We'll take those all day long. Come on. Bob's on, Bob's off. Bob's on again. Flip them. There we go. Bob got another one. Bob has a way of being Bob on, Bob off, Bob on, Bob off. <laughs> That's the reason why we just give him the the, the uh, nickname Yellow Mouse. See how golden this one is? It's because they've been down river towards the brackishy water a little bit more and they pick up that tannin in their fins in that yellow fins and make that yellow super yellow mouth so we just call them yellow mouths but they're real weak they're weak fish bob's got one too all righty then finally got one on the gotcha on the gotcha float. Oh, the god dang bird ate it right off my hook. Oh, I had a yellow mouth. There he is. He's eating it. Look at that damn bird. Same bird as yesterday. My favorite little gotcha plug. And the yellow mouths were whacking it. That damn cormorant just ate him right off my, right off the hook. We got some severe weather coming here. It is raining like holy hell right there, Bob. Look at look how foggy it looks. I think that's rain. There's, the... There's our haul for today on all yellowmouth trout. Not a single speckled trout all day. 
and we stopped because we could have kept going and going and going and going so traveler bob has got some serious fish fry material going on here a couple of them are decent size like that one that's a decent size this one's a decent size here you know of course all the big ones i probably caught <laughs> so time to make the donuts and then of course these guys are sitting here waiting it's dinner time and we're all done that's the last day with traveler bob three days in a row forgot to mention that we actually tried to catch a big red or a black drum on a certain spot where I've caught them before and we sat there and we couldn't give away a shrimp. Believe it or not, could not give away a shrimp. So we had other plans besides these guys. And we sat through rain. What else? Rain. We had rain this morning and this afternoon. So we were happy to have these, and they were all you wanted. So say good night, Irene Traveler Bob. Good night, Irene. All right. See you on the next one.